So yes, how to proceed. Uh, Let's see, maybe I can Let's see if I can do share screen so that yeah. it'll be visible on the recording. the recording as well. Okay. So uh I don't know. I, maybe it would be useful to do something like what we do in class: find the verb first, and, uh, and parse it. Parse it, and then, then maybe after that, you want to just go word by word and yeah. break them down as we translate them. That makes sense. Okay. So. All right, for the first one, I found one verb. Is that what you had? Yes. T code. Uh, mm -hmm. Which I have as a... Uh, Call imperfect. It's feminine. So I know it's like a future tense. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if it's a, it's if it's. Second or third. Let me just double check that. Uh, yeah, I think it's um I think it's third. I actually may have yes, yes. Put something yes. down in my notes wrong, but um Yes. Yes, it's, it's, yes, because the second feminine would be you, but um, because I know that Rua, the spirit, is um, feminine as in she, um, I know it's she will visit. So it's a call imperfect. Third feminine singular. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I wrote this down wrong in my notes. I'm glad that um, I'm glad that we're doing this because okay. um, I just from memory, like I know that the in the imperfect, the second mm -hmm. masculine is the same as the third feminine. Yes. Right? Yes. And, but I, I, I mixed two things up, and I wrote down third masculine, which is not right. <laughs> right. Uh, that's something right. Totally different. Um. So, yeah, this is third feminine. Um, right. All right. So we know the verb, uh, right. and it's not first in the sentence. So we know it's future tense. Right. Uh, it would be will visit or appoint. So then, if we go back to the beginning of the sentence, we've got the conjunction. Yes. Uh, and ruach Elohim will visit. Right. Then we've got um Bain Ben Yaakov. Ben Yaakov. Uh the, the son of Jacob. Son of Jacob, right. A share. The pronoun. So who? Right. Uh and then we don't have 
a verb. So it's one of those verbless clauses, but right. it's implied that there's a be verb. Uh, so we have to supply that. Who right. is? Um, leaf nay before or in front of. Mm -hmm. uh, Ha, Kohen. Kohen. Um, so we've got the article Ha and right. Kohen priest. Uh, All right. All right. You want to put the whole sentence together? I wrote, and the Spirit of God will visit the son of Jacob who is before the priest. Yep. That's what I got. Okay. <clears throat> Good. All right. All right. Let's try number two. How many verbs did you find in this one? I only found one. Okay. And it was um, Yimlok, which is the third one. Um, yes. Okay. Yep, same no, here. No, the, the, the root is the mem, la med, and the final cov. Mm hmm So with the yud being, um, Performative, meaning coming before um, the yud and, and the hirek, it prompts me to being uh, a call imperfect. The yud tells me it's masculine. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have an ending, so I'm thinking it's the singular. Yep. So it's a call imperfect. Third masculine singular. That's what I have. Same here. Okay, good. So will rain. Yes. Uh, single. <clears throat> All right. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Once again, we begin with a conjunction. The conjunction. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's ata, which is now. Mm -hmm. Me is who. Right. And then we have Will Rain. Yeah. I always remember uh, what me means by uh, by thinking. Uh, me? Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> like, me? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, I, uh, I interrupted you. Uh, no, that's fine. Um, and then Le Pene, which is before mm -hmm. Elohim, Ku David, Ku yep. being like. It's one of those inseparable conjunctions. So I have, and now who will reign before God like David? Yes, that's what I have too. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, for number three, I've got two verbs. Um, uh, Meme, meme look again. Um, mm -hmm. or, uh, well, the, the first one with, in number two was um, meme look, but here, meme look, um, mm -hmm. call imperfect first common plural. Yes. And for the second one, uh, Amu. Yes. Me I saw I got to. Okay. So that is call perfect 
third common plural. Is that what you got? Correct. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so uh, the... because this imperfect starts the sentence, we know it's supposed to be um, subjunctive. Subjunctive. And it would be may we rain. Yeah. And, yeah. And uh, then I have bo, vait, Elohim, Amru, Alaki. Ha arets. Mm -hmm. Right. So we've got may we or let us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, got that inseparable inseparable preposition, but in the house of God. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then. Amru said, um, Malachi, there's that, and that plural that gets the, the last letter cut off. Right. right. Um, Malachi, the kings of the land. Yes, that's what I have. Yeah. Let us reign in the house of God, said the kings of the land. Yes, that's what I got. Okay. Mm. Are you going to start mm. out number four? Sure. Number four. So I've got that. Um, is that an inseparable? No, it says B'nai Yaakov. Oh, I'm sorry. We should have found the the verb oh, and right. parsed it. Yeah. Yep. Yes. So I have Yashvu. Mm -hmm. And I have hmm. That's the only verb I think that has to be parsed. Because I think a lock is almost like a vocab word, so it just means he went up. So I didn't parse that one. What okay. about you? Um I mean I I parsed it as uh call perfect third masculine singular. Uh like okay. because the 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 vocab words take the third masculine, the call perfect third masculine form. So like, right. you know, it's the, in the vocab form, it's always going to have that. The third masculine. Okay. Yeah. So I, sense. Just, okay. I went ahead and parsed it. Um, parsed it. Okay. Practice. How did you parse the. Um... The first one. Yeah, yash yashvu. Uh, I got call perfect third masculine plural. Is that what you have? Yes. Good. Good. Okay. I was getting ahead of myself there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Bene Yaakov. That would be the sons of Jacob. Mm hmm. And then Yashavu is dwelled. They dwell. If I'm doing like a literal right. based on the parsing, it would be mm -hmm. they dwelled. And then I have Ba'aret in the land, Ba being um, that inseparable conjunction attached to Arex. So I have in the land. 
Odd is on tail. You were saying? I was just saying an inseparable preposition, right? Preposition. What did I say? Uh, conjunction. Ah, sorry. Yeah. I mean, we like we we learned both of those. So it's, I know. It's, you know, mix them up. Mix them up, right? Um, but I read add on tail, and then that's um, a lock. He went up. Um, ha kohen the priest. Lahar. To the mountain, um, Elohim of God. Yeah. So there's so, uh, one of those. How do you put that all together? Yeah. So at the end, we've got one of those genitive constructions where we've got two nouns together. Together. The second one shows us that there's a, a genitive relationship. Relationship, yes. Yeah. So, uh, Putting it all together, I got the sons of Jacob dwelled in the land until the priest went up to the mountain of God. Me too. All right. All right. Me too. Um, you want to go with five? Sure. <clears throat> For this one, I got two verbs. Uh, mm -hmm. Yada, yeah, which is call perfect third masculine singular, and uh, yal yalada, maybe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, which is call perfect third feminine singular. Is that right? So what you got? Yes. Okay. Um, That's what I have. Right. So uh, the first one, Yada, is uh, it's literally new, but that's usually translated in the present because present. they think uh, once you... You never stop knowing. Yeah. Which <laughs> I tell you what is not how I see... That's not how I see that. I feel like there's a lot of stuff I used to know that I don't know now. <laughs> yeah, I almost feel like it's it's a completed action. So okay. I know it, it's done. Yeah. But in English, we also say we knew something. Uh -huh. I knew the answer. I knew the answer to the question. I knew yeah. the translation of the verb. Um, so I have my own thoughts on that too but i i'll, I'll run with the rules sure um <laughs> and it, it's interesting too because it could be when we translate it, you could see that it could be knows or new just yeah. using the context of the sentence it, it could be translated either way yeah <clears throat> well so let's let's go with uh what they normally do in translated present tense. Uh yada call perfect third masculine singular uh mm -hmm. knows. Um mm -hmm. he knows and then for the second one um yada uh, mm -hmm. if you if you pronounce that shiva I'm not I'm not a hundred percent on the rule pr the rules for pronouncing the shiva but I think in this one you would pronounce it um, no I don't know for sure um oh wait let's see you don't do it if it's if it ends a syllable um <clears throat> so maybe maybe that is the end of a syllable and it's y'all y'all da anyway, okay. anyway, however you pronounce it uh it's right call perfect third feminine singular singular right um so, uh, she begat or bore. Right. Um, uh, so then going back to the beginning of the sentence, um, uh, echad is one, 
but mm -hmm. um but i read in uh one of dr martin's books maybe it was i i, I don't i can't remember if it was in a footnote in a regular textbook or if it was in the answer key um that i use to check my translations sometimes um <clears throat> he said it could be translated a certain so like here oh, it, right uh it's echad ish one man or a certain mm -hmm. man a certain man right <laughs> um then we get the first verb knows uh key is the cause when or that and i i translated it that certain man knows that um mm -hmm. uh ha aim ha aim yes um that a mother or the mother. The, the mother, mother, right. Because it's got the, the article that the mother begat a good son. Um, right. Bane Tove being a good son. So right. a certain man knows that the mother begat a good son. A good son, yeah. That's what I got. Okay. I had I had translated um one man mm -hmm. and I think I had like you I had read somewhere and I wrote one man or each man. Okay. But I think um your your translation of a certain man is is probably the best, like with the context. Um okay. one man or a certain man knows that the mother bore a good son. Um, I think, um, like, I, I, I like that too. That makes sense to me. But, uh, but uh, you said each, I, it seems like um, Dr. Hill might've said that in class. That's that, what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Cause I remember that she gave a translation. Cause I made a note based on when we were going through it in class yeah but i i didn't like replay the the class to to check it yeah i didn't either but i was thinking that she had given a different translation than either the literal one which would be one man one or uh -huh. or a certain man that was in dr martin's book but i couldn't remember what it was um so i'm i'm glad you you caught that each man yeah okay if i get an opportunity i'll go back and like see if i can find where she did this one and what 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 she said i could refresh my memory on that too yeah. well that i mean that that makes sense okay yeah. um so number six number six you want to start that so for number six i have one verb and it is the tovim. The root being tatav, which means to write. Mm -hmm. um, I parsed this as a call passive masculine participle plural. Mm -hmm. Call passive masculine plural participle yeah which is being written mm -hmm. um and then word by word i have divray elohim words of again with that um genitive um relationship Mm -hmm. Words of God. Um, B. They, I can never pronounce that. <laughs> B. -vait. So I put in the house, but there's another genitive um, 
relationship, Elohim. So, Divre Elohim, Bivait Elohim, words of God in the house of God. Yeah. Is that what you got? <clears throat> right. Okay, so I I translated it as the words of God are being written in the house of God. Yeah. Uh, Is that what you have? Yeah, like in this case, you know, with the participle, you always have to decide whether it's uh, past or present. And so I think it could go either the words of God are written in the house of God or the... In that and in that case, you know, I guess you would say um, it would make sense to say they're being written in the house of God to indicate present tense, or you could go past tense and say the words of God were written in the house of God. Uh, like I, I think either one will work, and if you found this in the Bible, you'd have to just judge on the context whether it's past okay. or present. So I think either one of those technically works. Okay. And I that, I went with are being written mm -hmm. um, just based off the text um, where that paradigm is the the verb I think that was um in the paradigm was the shamar. And if it's active, it's keeping. And if it's passive, it's being kept. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's why I went with being written. Um, and I, I don't know, um, to your point, if it, I mean, does it change the meaning significantly that it's being written now or that it was written, meaning already done? Yeah. Um, so that one I had kind of flagged it to ask you um, and when I look at page 48, It says, when used as a verb, the participle signifies durative action. The tense may be present, past, present, or future as determined by the context. Mm -hmm. And the two examples there, they had put are or were. Right. Is or was. So I guess if I were to see this on the, on the exam, maybe I should put are slash were r slash were yeah and, yeah and, i mean that that would be a totally solid answer i would think because it would indicate that you understand that it could be translated either way either way okay. yeah all right so yeah i had flagged that one All right, good stuff. I'm getting a notice that uh, we've got seven minutes and 42 seconds left uh, before, okay. um, which because it's two people, I probably could have set this meeting up, but, but I didn't know for sure that nobody else was going to come. Would, would come on, right? Um, if it's a meeting of three or more people, then they limit it to 40 minutes. Um, okay. Had I known nobody else was going to make it, I uh, I probably could have set it up to run longer, but I, you know, but there was no way to know. Uh, so let's see no way get through maybe at least one more. If we do one more and then it breaks and then we can start the next one. Sure. At, you know, okay. 
Yeah, and I so don't that would take us like... to number seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, uh, I've got two verbs. Yashwa. Mm -hmm. And I've got Shomaret. Yep. I so, did not write down my parsing. So let me okay. look at this real quick. Yashwa. We can do that live together. You want to do the first one and I'll do the second one? Okay, so Yashva is so call what's the root? The root is the yud is part of the root. Am I right? Uh, yes. Um, because okay. Yashav is uh dwelled or sat, dwelled right, so it's the call perfect third feminine singular. Yeah, uh, and that, that, yeah, that matches the, uh, the second verb, which is, um, So um, uh, red, mm -hmm. and that is the call feminine singular active participle uh, keeping keeping. So some some female subject or feminine subject is keeping is keeping right. So I've got Aisa, Yashva, Babai, Ha, Gadol, Bahi, Shomaret, Ed is not pronounced right. I'm not supposed to call it out. Right. <laughs> ha, Davar. Yeah. Okay, so the woman dwelt in the great house mm -hmm. and she is keeping the word. Yeah. That would you go okay. Good. Uh -huh. All right. <clears throat> All right, well, since we might not have time to get through the next one before it stops us. Why don't we go ahead and stop ourselves and then right. we, can, uh, we can come right back. Okay. All right. See you in a See moment. See you on the other side. <laughs>